don't allow depressing thoughts to haunt your mind. Don't allow yourself to think about sad things and remain in a low state of mind. Some of you will say low energy, whatever. It's just when you allow yourself to meditate on sad things, you allow sadness to come in and just envelope you and you just lay in it. It's like you're in your own little dark spot. And I want to just encourage you to get out of that. Let me tell you why. Sadness and depression continually, haunted thoughts of what if, imagining what it would be if you were dead, watching doom and gloom shows, sad shows. Have you ever watched some shows and it has this sad, melancholy music in the background? I've noticed that there is this new thing out. The music is sounding like, oh, oh, oh. What is this? What is that? I was like, what is this kind of singing? They're sounding like they're, they are being like, they're dying. Like they're trying to hurl. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? What is this music? It has this real mellow, dreary background music and they're doing stuff like, oh, what will I do? If it comes flood, it's raining, oh, it's pouring, oh, oh, my teeth gone cold, I don't have soul, I've run out of toothpaste again, there is no flavor in my cup. Yo, turn that junk off, man. What is this? <laughs> but seriously, guys, let me tell you. You keep, if you keep watching sad things, dreary things, you will find yourself wanting to watch a lot of sad stuff. You're watching things or listening about who died, who did this, who did that. Some of you may be surfing the internet to see who killed themselves and why, and you find yourself becoming maybe fascinated with death. It may not happen just yet, but I'm under, I'm trying to let you know it leads to something. It leads to something. These little depressing thoughts and sad thoughts, you've got to get to a place. Don't allow yourself to be this way when you're just enveloped in darkness and you're thinking about all this stuff because it is priming you. You're being primed. Primer is like the foundation that that is something that is to it 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 sets the face or whatever you could use primer even on furniture it it's like a base coat for what's to come and so it's like you're priming yourself for whatever else comes further dark thoughts and or action or both it will lead to depression anxiety paranoia all these things and eventually it can lead to suicide suicide is something that just it's a very impromptu action it's not planned but over time living becomes unbearable i have a playlist on suicide and i want you to understand that this is a spirit it is a spirit and if you keep believing it's you it's going to be very easy for you to get pulled down into this hole. Suicide is an unclean demonic spirit. It comes from trauma, hurt, pain, certain things, or just allowing yourself to always think sad. And so what happens, the more you allow that, the more it kind of saturates you. If you imagine a paper towel and then there's like, if you pour a little bit of like a liquid on paper towel, it begins to soak it up. It may just be a corner, but the more, if that paper, if you don't pull it from that puddle, that whole thing will slowly, you see the water slowly creeping through and saturating that paper towel. So I want you to understand that what happens is you will eventually, it starts off at 2%, then 5%. It's like coming. And before you know it, you'll be a hundred percent just to a place where it's going to be difficult for you to live waking is going to be hard. You're not going to want to eat. 
That's because you're becoming more and more saturated. Eventually, living becomes unbearable, that even death will seem inviting. The reason why death will seem inviting is because the disposition of something that is unclean, something that is supernatural, a fallen angel, a demon, it's too much for our physical bodies to bear. I also want you to know that if it begins to take you over at some point, this is why people jump in front of a train. That person would have never done that. But when you allow this type of spirit access to you, it will take over that even against your will, you will find yourself doing something. You don't want to die, but you do. You understand? You don't want to hurt yourself, but you do. That's what happens. And it becomes so overpowering that you feel like I must end this feeling. When I experienced that, I never had, you know, I, I always thought I was in control. But it wasn't until I start to call on Jesus, until I start calling that name, that this feeling, that icky thing had to back off of me. And the Lord saved me even when I wasn't even looking for him. And I no longer have these dark thoughts. I, it's com I'm completely set free. But now I must speak up for others and let you know what this is. Other thing that's going to open you up to these dark, depressing spirits if you watch a lot of horror shows, if you watch a lot of dark shows, you watch a lot of things about killing and murdering and weird stuff, it's opening you up. You must understand your eyes are the gateway to the soul. And you must understand this and believe it. If you're to the point that you want to kill yourself or just don't want to live or life is so hard, then this should not be something you would just dismiss. Because if you're willing to dismiss your life or you're on this path to dismissing yourself, the very least you can do is listen to this message. God hears you. He hears you. And if you call out to him and ask him into your life and ask him to set you free in the midst of your darkness, in the midst of you feeling like that, ask him to help you and to save your soul. Every time you feel that way, even if you still feel it, you call out to him and you ask him to help you, to help you save my soul. Lord Jesus, save my soul. He's going to help you. But what's happening, guys, another thing, if you're messing with the dark arts, you're messing with black magic, white magic, whatever type of magic you're doing these things, guys, it opens up the doorway. You know, the Bible talks about in, it's Romans 1, where people, they they are messing with things, they're worshiping things that they don't even understand what it is and unseen things. And I want you to understand, you have no control of what you cannot see. And at first, they will seem very docile and they're helping you and they're messengers and your guides. But they're not. You do not have control over them. And so what happens is whatever you may quote unquote manifest, you would get it. And then they'll take it from you. And then you're going to have to do more to get it. And the thing that you manifested and wanted begins to give you trouble. So you have to do more. And before you know it, they'll snatch it away and leave you in utter uh, despair. And then they come in with a sadness and the gloom and lead you to a place where you self-destruct. People that throw themselves off buildings in front of trains, shoot themselves in the head, whatever they do, these individuals would have never done that. They were absolutely normal individuals. But what happened is they don't understand that there's something else there. Whether they choose to accept God in their life or not, Satan hates us. We're made in his image. We're made in the image and likeness of God. And so what will happen is these individuals will become so fully saturated with the darkness and fully saturated with despair and just waking up is painful that they end up just taking their lives. The spirit will completely overtake them to the point it is unbearable and death it seems like an escape, but death is not the end. Have you ever wondered why you've ever been somewhere and you feel like, hmm, I feel like I've been here before. You can, it's like, we call it deja vu. Have you ever wondered how you can just sense something? Have you ever been sitting in a room and you feel like you look across the room, you feel like something's with you, or you just saw something before it happened to whatever degree. These things happen because you're a spirit. You're a spirit. 
So when you die, the body stops, but you keep going. And guys, I'm telling you, on the other side, it's not going to be prettier. If you were sad on this side, you'll experience sadness at a greater degree on that side because it's a condition of your spirit. It's a, spirit, it's a condition of your soul. So all I would say to you is to consider what I'm saying. Some of you are already Christians and you are entertaining this dark thing. Don't do it. Don't entertain these dark thoughts. It's going to take you down the slippery slope. Those of you that don't know the Lord, he's not far from you. You can talk to him. Some of you may be angry at God. Some of you may have bitterness. But all I can tell you is if you're the point at the point you want to take your life, think again. It's not going to end the way you think. Overall, I will say, Entertaining dark and evil thoughts is going to open you up to something. And if you allow yourself to get to a point where you do take your life, you're going to realize suddenly that everything you've ever thought was the worst thing ever and the wor and it was never going to end. You realize it's not as it was not going to be as bad. There are plenty of people. This is something that has been revealed to me. There are plenty of people. In the midst of dying, they realize, I shouldn't have done this. Perhaps once they jump, there's a terror that happens. And they realize, I shouldn't have done this. But they can't reverse it. This is not like a video where you can go back. There are people that they've done things to themselves that they realize, I should not have gone this route. And I just want to say to someone that you need to open up those blinds. You need to go for a walk. You need to wash your hair. Wash your hair. Take a shower. Go outside. Open your windows. Open your doors. Pray. Ask God to help you. Because you're on this route. You're on this road. That's going to lead you further than you could ever want. Just as I was delivered, you can be too. I didn't know I needed deliverance. I thought it was things that I can do. Money, uh, promotion, all these different things. And here was this haunting. It is amazing how many rich people are taking their lives. How many people who just got promoted is taking their lives. Because it's not a matter of you being too poor or you being ugly. Because beautiful people are doing it. It has nothing to do with that. It is a heaviness that is so unbearable you don't want to live anymore. And this is not something you can ever do. And there may be pills and things that you try, but it will not completely help you. I'm not here telling anyone to stop taking their medication. I'm not telling anyone to take medication. What I'm saying to you is there are natural things that you can do to intervene, but it is something far deeper and it's spiritual. All right, guys.